Hypothesis testing. Sounds like something from your favorite mystery novel. And in a way, it sort of is. Hypothesis testing is how statisticians and data analysts test out our theories. Hi, I'm Matthew Courtney, and here we talk all about education, research, and data. So if you're into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and come be a part of our community. Hypothesis testing is a systematic way to test claims or ideas about a group or population. In the world of education, it's the magnifying glass that allows us to closely examine whether a teaching method, a fancy new tool, or a rigorous intervention genuinely make a difference. The process typically involves a few steps. The first is setting a hypothesis. In statistics, there are two types of hypotheses. The null hypothesis is the status quo or the baseline assumption. It states that there is no effect or difference. The alternative hypothesis is what you aim to prove. It claims that there is an effect or difference. Next, we collect and analyze data, and this is where the action happens. You conduct your study, gather your data, and then crunch the numbers. Finally, we make a decision. Based on your analysis, you'll either reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative, or fail to reject the null, suggesting that more evidence is needed. Suppose a school introduces a new reading program, claiming that it enhances student reading fluency. As evidence-based decision makers, we're skeptical, so we decide to test the claim. Our null hypothesis is that the new program has no effect on reading fluency. Our alternative hypothesis is that the new program increases reading fluency. After sampling students and conducting some tests, we analyze the data. If the results show a statistically significant increase in reading fluency beyond what we'd expect by random chance, we can reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the program likely does improve reading fluency. By the way, I dig more into that whole random chance thing in another video. While hypothesis testing is powerful, it's not without its challenges. Hypothesis testing is plagued by what we call type one and type two errors. A type one error is a false positive. This happens when we wrongly reject the true null hypothesis. It's like accusing an innocent person based on misleading evidence. A type two error is a false negative. This is when we fail to reject a false null hypothesis. Imagine letting a culprit go free because the evidence just wasn't compelling enough. In education, such errors can have ramifications, like implementing ineffective methods or overlooking beneficial ones. We must always be vigilant to ensure that we are considering all of the possible outcomes with equal weight and not making decisions based on what we want or hope will happen. The beauty of hypothesis testing is really in its versatility. Whether it's evaluating new tech tools, curriculum changes, or teacher training methods, this approach provides a structured method and a common language that allows us to make and communicate informed decisions. In other videos in this series, I've explained the ins and outs of basic hypothesis tests, like the t-test and the ANOVA. However, to quick start your testing, consider checking out my free distribution comparison tool at www.matthewbcourtney.com forward slash DCT. Hypothesis testing is more than a mere statistical ritual. As educators, policymakers, and curious minds, understanding this tool empowers us to separate educational myths from transformative truths. If you found value in this video today, make sure you like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this playlist. I'll see you next time.